All right, you just got into a big argument. We're gonna do some tapping on it. And after you do this tapping and you really clear, you feel super neutral about whatever argument you have, I want you to look at the other video that's about what is at the root of your arguing. And it's gonna be very important to help avoid future arguments. So just like always, think about the argument itself. If it was a big argument, like if it felt super scary or if it lasted a really long time or if it went on and on over days, over multiple subjects, you may need to break it down into smaller pieces. Like for example, you may need to tap on the tone that the person used. You may need to tap on one phrase that the person used. Or you may be able to just wipe it all out with one tapping set or not one tapping session, but with a tapping session just on the argument overall. But remember that when something is very global, when it's very big, sometimes the tapping will not work if it's too big, right? Because it either emotionally overwhelms us or it doesn't do anything. So you may need to narrow it down to key points in the argument. All right. So think about the argument or a part of the argument. How do you feel about it right now? Rate that emotion from zero to 10. Where do you feel it in your body, if anywhere? And let's go. Side of the hand. Even though right now I'm feeling sad that we had that argument last night, I'm open to letting the sadness go. And even though right now I'm feeling sad that we had that argument last night, I'm open to letting this go. And even though right now I feel sad that we had that argument last night, I'm open to letting this go. Good, top of the head, I'm feeling sad. Can you guys, I'm feeling sad. I'm feeling sad. Under the eyes, feeling sad. Under the nose, feeling sad. Under the mouth, I'm feeling sad. Under the collarbones, I'm feeling sad. And under the arm, I'm feeling sad. Good, take a breath, reset. And notice when you think about that argument, what are you feeling right now? And you can repeat after me or use your own words. But let's get a little specific, just for example, say. Side of the hand. Even though right now I feel angry in my chest that they use that tone. I hate it when they use that tone. Feels so condescending. And I'm open to letting this go. And even though right now I feel angry in my chest, that they use that tone with me in that argument. How dare they? I deserve to be treated with respect. And I accept I feel this way. And even though I feel angry in my chest, that they used that tone with me while we were arguing. It's so annoying. And it makes me angry. I deeply and completely accept myself. Good, top of the head, feeling angry in my chest. Between the eyes, feeling angry in my chest. Side of the eyes, feeling angry in my chest. Under the eyes, feeling angry in my chest. Under the nose, feeling angry in my chest. Under the mouth, feeling angry in my chest. Under the collarbones, feeling angry in my chest. Keep breathing. Good, feeling angry in my chest, side of the ribcage.
Good. So you can pause the video, keep tapping on the tone or the words they said or the argument itself until you get down to a three or under, preferably neutral. And then the next step is take ownership of something you did in the argument. So what was something that you said? What was a tone that you used? What was an accusation that you made? Or did you shut down? Did you run away? Did you lash out? What happened on your side in the argument? And how does it make you feel right now? Knowing that you might have hurt them when you did that or said that or talked that way. Or that it may have continued the argument when you could have turned around and walked away or maybe refocused. So let's play with that a little bit. So even though I'm feeling a little bit guilty that I called him an insensitive jerk and I feel the guilt in my gut, I'm open to letting this go. And even though I feel guilt in my gut because I called him an insensitive jerk, I accept all the ways that I feel about it. And even though I feel guilt in my gut that I called them an insensitive jerk, I deeply and completely accept myself. And if you don't accept yourself, I'm open to letting this go or I accept I feel this way, whatever works, use your words. <sighs> Keep breathing, good, top of the head. Feeling this guilt in my gut. Two in the eyes, feeling this guilt in my gut. Side of the eyes, feeling this guilt in my gut. Under the eyes, feeling this guilt in my gut. Under the nose, feeling this guilt in my gut. Under the mouth, feeling this guilt in my gut. The collarbones, feeling this guilt in my gut. And under the arms, feeling guilt in this gut. Guilt in this gut, guilt in my gut. You know what I'm saying. Good. Take a breath. Honor yourself. It's really good work, especially when you can tune into an aspect of something that you contributed to in an argument because it's both sided, right? I look forward to hearing what you think about this video and the next one about why you're getting into arguments in the first place. Until then, remember that you are loved, you are loving, and you are lovable. Take care.